Hi there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to look at how to create a custom color palette in Final Cut Pro, ready to use for your client's color scheme specific to their branding. So um, I'm gonna show you what I mean. Let's dive into the computer. So what we're gonna achieve is this. I've basically downloaded uh, my client's color scheme uh, specific to their branding in a dedicated palette. Now, what we're typically greeted with um, is uh, this Apple color palette here, uh, which I don't know about you, doesn't really mean much to me. And you've got different sort of color options here, which have never really particularly meant much at all uh, until recently. So um, I'm going to basically teach you how to create your own specific brand color palette so that you can quickly select the specific colors um, ready to use for your client projects. What we've got here is a PDF with my client's color palette specific to their branding uh, on here um, with the hex numbers, which obviously give us the exact um, color that we need for, in, for each instance. Um, so what we're gonna do is dive back into Final Cut. Um, we are going to click on this little cog here we're going to click new and we're going to title it so if we click again click rename and if we title it client color palette for obviously you can call it whatever you want click rename now um, you sort of obviously you sort of think okay what do we do now um, so go over to their brand booklet um, grab the hex number the color hex number if they've got one which they probably do if they're a fairly large brand. Uh, so select the hex number, click Command C, um, and then head back into Final Cut. Uh, and then what we need to do is go to the color slider tab. Now you sort of think, okay, there's no hex number I can put in here, but if you click on the drop dropdown uh, and you select RGB sliders, um, and then what we can do is highlight that and click Command V, uh, and click enter and that brings us the specific color uh, up ready to use so we hop back over into our custom color palette that we've created we can actually just delete that now um, oh actually I've just lost the color there so I'm gonna hop back over there I'm gonna paste it in there and we've got it back uh, on the picker there of course, you could use the picker actually to select the color um, if you want. If you drag the PDF in, you can use the picker tool to go and select that. Um, so all we need to do now is literally just drag that there. Um, and then what I would probably do uh, is just call it uh, by its name really. So I'll probably call it primary red for the sake of this. So in order to rename the actual color, you just click on it once click primary I'm typing primary red and there we go so that's that um, and I'll just do it once more just so you've got it again so if we type in go to the orange and we grab the hex number from the brand booklet that I've been given from the client uh, and then we go over to our slider make sure that we're on the RGB sliders or you can click command 2 to bring that up uh, and then we select the hex color number, hit Command V, press Enter, and we've got the specific color there. And there we go. Uh, so we can drag. You sort of think, oh, how can I add that in? But it's just a case of literally clicking down on the color and dragging it in. So as soon as you've done that, uh, it works a treat. So there we go. So we just rename that. So I'll click once on it and we call it primary orange. And there we go. So um, now that's all saved in Final Cut Pro. Whenever you sort of load a plugin or anything like that, you can literally hit the plugin uh, and go to your color palette straight away. And um, obviously it's saved there and you can add as many as you want. And, that's in there. I haven't yet discovered if this color palette is specifically saved on my Mac somewhere. I did have a bit of a hunt. I couldn't find it anywhere. I did find the Apple um, 
color palette saved as a .clr file, but for the life of me, couldn't find this custom palette that I just created. So if you do know um, where the CLRs are that um, we just made, then please drop me a comment below. And if you did find this video helpful, please do remember to hit the like and the subscribe button um, so you don't miss any more of these types of videos that I release in the future. Uh, so thank you ever so much for watching guys. Take care and keep making videos. Bye for now.